today I'm going to be opening these new Castle Arts 48 Premium Pastel Tint Pencils and we'll see what's inside. So these are a premium collection of delicately pigmented silky smooth coloured pencils for a beautifully soft finish and the tin has a hinged lid so you don't lose it. Inside the lid are all the colours that are in this tin, all the names of the colours as well. Now you can get this set in a zip up pouch if you pay a little bit extra, it's not too much extra. I'll just show you what a zip up pouch looks like something like this and that would come with all the pencils already inside but if you don't want to spend that little bit extra you can get them in this tin so it's a little bit cheaper also probably a good time to tell you that if you want 20% off and you're in the UK so if you go to the Castle Arts UK website you can get 20% off with my code Sophie Colours, spelt the same as my YouTube name, but all one word, just put Sophie Colours into the discount code box at the checkout, and you'll get 20% off your order, even if the items are already on sale. I've noticed the 20% still comes off the discounted prices. So inside the box, you get a leaflet, well a booklet all about the pastel tint pencils, what they do, how to use them. There's ways of holding your pencil to get different effects, lots of inspiration, colour wheels. Also has some techniques that you can try different strokes, how to blend colours together to get different shades then there's lots of inspiration in this booklet, some tutorials how to draw this. They do have the templates on the Castle Arts website so you don't have to draw it from scratch, you can download the template. So lots of little tutorials in there and a glossary at the back which explains what different words mean just in case you didn't know. This is just information about the Castle Club where you can join. It's free to join but you get all the information emailed to you about things, new things. This is a tutorial on how to create a pastel pencil illustration which is the same as the picture on the front of the box. So inside shows you how to draw the furry queen. You can also get this template off the Castle Arts website. Download the template and then you can colour it in. Follow the step by steps, tells you all the different colours that they've used all the numbers of the colours so you can have a go at that then there is a leaflet which shows all the other products that they also sell the different types of pencils, different types of paint acrylic paint, fabric paint, oil paint gel pens, brush pens, sketching sets and then inside it shows all the different colours that those pencils come in this is the pastel tint colour pencil section. They're the colours, they're metallic pencils. And then you follow the key for this section. Shows you all the different colours that the paints and the other pencils come in. And then you also get with Castle Arts a tester sheet where the colour numbers and names are already printed on it so you can colour swatch all your pencils and the reason why we do this is because the colour that's painted onto the pencil sometimes isn't exactly 
how it looks when it's on the paper and also it's easier to see all the colours together when you're picking your colours for your piece of artwork. So inside the tin there's little trays, little loops on the side so you can get the trays out easily. And there are 48 pencils in this set. So you can take the trays out and put them back in for easy storage. So now I'm just going to start filling in my tester sheet. So the, the pencils are probably not in order already, but filling out the tester sheet usually helps you organise them into order so they're easier to find colours. I'll start with this one here, Tickle Pink, number 043. I'll just find that one. Now I know a lot of people like to do these tester sheets where they do it darker at one side going lighter to the other, like coloured in a gradient, but usually because I press quite hard all the time and I like it quite saturated the paper with colour, I'm just going to colour them all in one block colour because I can imagine how they look when they were lighter so I just like to colour the whole thing in one colour but it's up to you, you can colour it however you like so that is the first colour done, that is Tickle Pink and that has gone on nice and smoothly quite a nice pencil I do have a lot of other Castle Arts pencils so I was expecting it to be exactly as it is which is quite nice and smooth and colours in nicely, fills the paper it's not scratchy, it doesn't leave little bits so that's quite nice I think these will work well with my other colours and I have my other pencils so I'll just carry on now and colour in the rest of this tester sheet So that is the colour tester sheet finished and they're very nice pastel -y colours so if you're looking to expand your collection of pencils this is going to be quite a nice addition because it's got all the, the lighter shades in there that maybe you don't have in the other sets. I know my sets are quite, they have quite bright colours but there were a few of these colours here that I think I can use already 
there's some good colours for lighter skin tones if you draw people um, also for lighter shades of fur or blonde hair there's some nice light colours for doing lips there's some nice lighter shades of green if you're drawing things like flowers and fruit also the pinks would be nice for some flowers so now all my pencils will go back in the tin and they were all pre-sharpened so I could use them straight away although they're not they're not super sharp when you first get them but you can use them straight away and all of the pencils have the name and the number wrote on them the name of the colour the number and also that they're by castle arts and that they are the pastel tint pencils so if you're using more than one set of different types of pencils you won't get them mixed up so it says what they are on them so I'm very pleased with them I think it's a nice addition of colours to expand the pencils that I already have so thank you for watching and I hope that you found this useful and I'll see you next time